This two minute tip is going to show you the most effective clinical assessment technique for a displaced cuboid. Think of this, if a cuboid shifts from its optimal position, and this is actually very common in feet that pronate their end limits in weight bearing, or and they have ankles that have suffered an inversion sprain at some time, then the articular relationships between the anterior surface of the cuboid and the base of the fourth and fifth metatarsals lose their congruence. This means that the lateral beam cannot dorsiflex against the cuboid. Make sense? Great. So to test this clinically, what you have to do is stabilize the rear foot with your medial hand and make sure the calcaneus and ankle are held still. Then apply a dorsiflexion force to the fifth met head. If the articular surfaces are congruent, the fifth metatarsal will dorsiflex easily. If the articular surfaces are not congruent, which means the cuboid is displaced, there will be no dorsiflexion of the fifth metatarsal. So your treatment needs to include restoring the position of the cuboid, and when this is achieved, the movement of the fifth metatarsal is restored immediately. This is an excellent pre- and post-intervention test. So the first thing I'm going to do is check the integrity of the base of the fifth metatarsal with the cuboid. Now the way to do this, we need to stabilize the rear foot, make sure the calcaneus and the ankle are locked into position, the foot just rests in a neutral position. Then applying a small amount of force to the fifth met head, I'm literally going to just, you let your foot relax, good. <laughs> so in this position here, we're just going to see, will the fifth metatarsal actually dorsiflex against the cuboid? And with very little resistance, you can see here that uh, the cuboid, uh, I can tell you that the cuboid articulation, articular surface of the cuboid to the fifth metatarsal is good because from a neutral position, I can actually dorsiflex and there's no resistance of the fifth metatarsal. All right, and that's normally what we see with a cuboid that in, is in its optimum position. And I'm going to do the same thing. So stabilizing the calcaneus, the ankle, everything is uh, in its strong position here. Just to remind you, Deb, let your foot hang loose. Great, so the foot uh, just is in a relaxed position. I'll put it into neutral, and now I'm going to dorsiflex the fifth metatarsal. And what you'll see is that there's actually no movement. And you can feel it, like from there, it won't go any further. So now I'll just repeat uh, the pre-intervention test, stabilizing the calcaneus, stabilizing the ankle, checking that the foot's nice and relaxed. And from this position here, I'm now going to dorsiflex the fifth metatarsal. Okay, and now we can see that the, you can feel how it's just moving very freely. Okay, so that's good. So there, it's, a, it's a really subtle difference, but it makes a significant difference to the articular relationship.